Dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, I would like to welcome you to attend our online service. May the peace and the grace of the Lord always be with you. I believe that the Lord is faithful. He will never leave us. The prophet Isaiah once delivered the Lord's message to the people of Israel during a difficult time. Can a nursing mother forget her child? Neither will I forget you, says the Lord. There are times when the Lord seems distant and quiet. When we have such experience, we must learn to live by faith. We don't walk by sight, but we walk by faith. I will lead us to say the opening prayer. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for calling us to be your servants. Thank you for the privilege of knowing you, worshipping and serving you. Lord, we continue to trust and hope in you. Lord, we will not trust in wisdom, ability and riches. We thank you for these blessings. We will use these blessings to serve you, but we will only rely and depend on you. Lord, we submit to you. Help us to know you better. Help us to know your will for our lives. Help us to have confidence in you and your ways. Lord, we pray that your will be done in our lives and in the world. Make us your faithful and effective witnesses in the world. We pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. We will now sing two songs to worship the Lord. Let us worship the Lord wholeheartedly. Savior, Redeemer, lifted me from the miry clay. Almighty, forever, I will never be the same, cause you came here. From the everlasting to the world we live, by the only sun.
speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. I know there is peace within your presence. I speak. Jesus Christ that today you know I can share you know uh, my miracle with you, you know in the on, in this video uh, I think uh, most of you probably have read you know a section of the book you know on uh, me you know and the Elpiso cancer support group you know uh, but now Evelyn Tan has asked me to share more you know through this video right uh, I think you know uh, God really is amazing you know uh, he really can perform miracles as you can see many miracles in Evelyn Tan's book you know uh, I'm just one of the miracles no, by the Lord Jesus Christ. No, really, all glory to Him. No. And uh, no, actually, I just want to say that you know I was a Christian when I was young, you know, many many years ago. But I was such a lukewarm Christian. No, I was a, I don't know what to say, lousy Christian. No, <laughs> no. And on looking back, I'm quite ashamed of myself. You know what? I call myself a Christian. No, and you know I I, I don't really behave like Christian. No, uh, so. 
how did I you know, uh, uh, become close to Jesus? How did uh, God change my life? No? It was not until, I tell you, until the year 2006. You know? In 2006, uh, how old was I? I was 50 years old. 50 years old though, right now, that's the time now. I was struck down with four stage cancer. You know? I was struck down with four stage cancer. This cancer was a relapse, you know. It was a relapse, you know, uh, because uh, when I was 38 years old, I already had this breast cancer third stage, you know. Yeah, and uh, after all the chemo and radiotherapy, I went back to work for 12 years. So 38 to 50 years old is 12 years, right? And in 12 years of my goodness, cancer came back, cancer relapsed. You know? And this time, it was the fourth and the last stage. You know? And where has it spread to? It has spread to the limb node, you know, right here on my chest wall, on the left-hand side. You know? And it was you know, so huge, you know, the cancer tumor. You see the size of my fist? This is huge, the size of my fist, you know, and it's 6 by 7 by 4 cm, lodged between the heart and the lung, and it cannot be operated. Because once I'm operated, it's taken, torn out, I will die on the operating table, you know, right? Can you imagine? That's huge, uh, cancer tumor. It also spread to the whole chest wall over here, and this piece of bone called the sternum. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a very frightening experience when I looked at the CT scan. So full of cancer cells, spread so much of the body, and uh, it was the fourth and last stage. And I know that most fourth and last stage cancer patients die within one or two years, or some mm -hmm. just a few months, you know, like a couple of my friends. You know? mm -hmm. So I was very frightened. I said, God, I cannot die, I cannot die. I was only 50 years old, feel so young. Mm -hmm. ah. Who wants to die at 50, right? Oh my goodness, you no, know, right now. So I quickly went into chemotherapy and radiotherapy. And after all the chemo and radio, you know, in 2006, uh, nine months of chemo and uh, therapy, radiotherapy, a scan was done. You know, and it was most most disappointing uh, the results because you know, the tumor was still this large the size of my face uh, 6 by 7 by 4 cm it didn't even go down uh, by 1% can you imagine that and the whole chest wall and the whole piece of sternum still flooded with cancer cells you know I said oh my goodness no right and the doctor said you know Sherry uh, I've done all that I can you just go back live one day at a time and enjoy your life that's it my goodness, when this is said to you, uh, imagine, uh, imagine if this is said to you, a doctor say this to you, what does this mean? It means that I don't have long to live. It means that I will leave the earth, leave my husband no, and my family just very fast, within a few months. That's what it means, you know, right now. Yeah, I, I couldn't take it. No, I said, no, God, I'm only 50 years old, I cannot die, you know. But I remember that day after the doctor told that to us, my husband and I went back. We hugged each other so tight, so tight, you know. Mm. For three days and three nights, we cried and cried and cried buckets of tears, you know, right? I tell you, right? We couldn't let each other go because I, we really thought I was dying already. Yeah. And you know, I straight away I thought, hey, my chemotherapy failed, my radiotherapy failed. So there was only one way to go. And I coined this thing called the word therapy, right? The word therapy, the word, huh? is Jesus, right? The word is Jesus. No? Uh, Jesus is the uh, say no, I, uh, uh, I am life and my word no, right now is spirit and is life no and it's helped a man's whole body. That's what the Bible says, you know, right now. Wow, I remember that. No? So I you know coined the, the word therapy every morning. I will wake up at 5 a.m. No? I will seek the Lord, you know, and I will what do I do? Worship. Because worship my uh, usher in the presence of God. No? I've never really worshipped Intimately with God, one. It was only when I was struck down with this body cancer. I had no way to go. I wanted to live, you no, know, right now. So I just, you no, know, right, worship the Lord, usher in the presence, you no, know, right now, from 5 a.m. to uh, 8, 9, you no, know, and the whole day, in fact, you know. And after ushering the presence, you now I will read the Bible and then I will pray. Right? Prayer is very important. That connects my spirit, you know, with the Spirit of God. And the Holy Spirit will come. The Holy Spirit will come from uh, he heaven, from on high. You know, when we pray. You know, yeah. And you know, uh, what happened? You no, know, right now, I just went on like that every morning. You know, worshiping God. You no, know, read the Bible. You no, know, I know. And uh, you no, know, uh, 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 um, uh, read, read, read the Bible. And what do I do? You no, know, I just you know uh, what do you call uh, pray and pray. And one morning, as I, as I was praying, the Lord you know, downloaded into my heart one particular verse. You know, and that verse was uh, Psalms 107.20. Psalms 107.20 says, I sent my word 
and healed your disease. I will rescue you from the grave. You know? I said, oh my goodness God, you can rescue me from the grave means I don't have to die, you know, right? You know? So, you, know, you sent my word and healed my disease. You did not say you're going to heal my disease. You did not say I will you know, heal your disease. You say I already healed your disease. No? Healed the past tense. No? Truly, you know, right now, that's why we believe that 2,000 years ago, no? God died for us. No? And sent His Son Jesus to die for us. No? And by His stripes, we are healed. That's why you see, He said, We are healed. So God said, I sent my word and healed your disease. I will rescue you from the grave. Ah, God, if you can rescue me from the grave, uh, I will not just read your word. Not, not only that, I will change. I will change and I will transform. I know that is no point, God, no, right? just reading your word and not transform. All right? I must transform to be more and more like you. Right now. So I said, God, you know, right now, help me, please. You know, right? Heal me. You know, right now. Don't let me die. And I promise. I promise I will serve you. I will leave my advertising job completely and just serve you, right? I don't care, no how, no right, no uh, uh, financially, no right, no. Uh, uh, no it, it, it will come, no. I don't care, no. But I just know that no, you will supply, it, right, no. God, no. And I, then, then what I did was, no, I just. Uh, you know, concentrate every morning no, on my uh, word therapy. Right, yeah? So when I concentrate on my word therapy, God will speak to me you know, all the time. Right, yeah? And when God speaks to me, He will give me you know, right, one verse you know, of the day. You know? And the verse of the day, uh, when downloaded to me, I will quickly, quickly go to my laptop, you know, uh, type it out and paste it on the wall in my bedroom. You see? Then over time, you know, uh, over a few months, uh, the whole bedroom was filled with Bible verses, you know, wow, you no know, pieces by pieces all on the wall, you know. Ay, oh, I tell you that time I was not good with the Bible, right now. But I know I have to make an effort. Because, because God said, I sent my word. I don't know your word, my God. I really don't know so well. What to do? You no, know, so I have to spend time and focus, you no, know, and spend, you know, really read God's word and paste it on the wall. And every morning I will wake up 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I wake up and kneel by the bedside. I kneel by the bedside and you know, I read God's word, you know, God, you say this, you say that, God, you say this, you say that, you know. Eventually, right now, yeah, I know more and more God's word, you know, when I know God's word, you know, God's word is spirit and it's life, and His spirit starts to connect in my spirit. When His spirit starts to connect my, with my spirit, I'm able to pray with the power of the Holy Spirit, you know, and be more powerful in commanding the cancer cells to die. You know? So I begin to pray things like, I lay hands on the tumor in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. I command the cancer cells to wither and die at its roots right now. This is the holy temple of God. I'm the child of God. No? As a child of God, no? God has blessed me with plans to prosper me, not to harm me. God has given me a hope no? for the future and to serve Him and to glorify Him. You know? So I pray like this, you know, even though I was so sick, even though I was so painful, you know, I tell you, you don't know how pain eh, I was suffering, you know, big time, big time suffering. When I was undergoing chemotherapy and radiotherapy, even after the treatment, I was still in great pain because the tumor was still so big. The tumor was still so big and the whole chest wall was still filled with cancer cells, you know, right now. And I, you know how pain? I will take the maximum, maximum of painkillers, you know, the doctor has given me. In the night, it's still so pain, I couldn't sleep. I scream, I scream to you know, right, so loud, you know, yeah, until I couldn't sleep and I said, oh God, you know, right, then I remember Jesus, you no, know? I yell, I yell the name of Jesus, Jesus, you no, know? I remember Jeremiah 33, 3, call unto me and I will answer you, I said, God, I'm calling you, answer me, take away my pain, you know, right, now, please, you know? you promise me you will answer me, you know, and indeed each time I'm in great pain, you know, right, God came down from heaven, he's more or less is in the corner of a room and the whole room was just so peaceful you know i tell you it's like jesus is standing there you know and then my pain just disappeared just like that i tell you it's a miracle it's a miracle you know? how can the pain just disappear like that but unfortunately the next morning the pain starts again you know, in the middle of the night i will scream again ah i will call upon the name of jesus and jesus will come again and the pain will go again away right now so you see you know i thank god now not for the cancer. 
I thank God for the journey of cancer. In this journey of cancer, I found God. In this journey of cancer, no, I became intimate with God no, that I can really no, feel His presence. I can really talk to God. I can really, really feel the Holy Spirit you know, right, working in me. You know, right, you know? And then you know, I just went on like that, you know, right, worshipping the Lord. You know, and then one morning, uh, ah, as I was praying, God spoke to me and said, no, Sherry, I want you to go and write a book. And this book is called There Is Hope. Right? Wow, God is so good one, huh? Right. Why do you have to write a book? And someone give you the title of the book. <laughs> there is hope, right? Uh, I say, God, no. Uh, how can I write a book? Uh? You have not healed me, you know? You have not healed me, right? Uh? I'm a fourth stage cancer patient. After I've written the book, I don't think people will buy the book. Uh. I would feel so disappointed, so sad, no? And very ashamed, uh. no, nobody buys the book, you know? Yeah. But here, God talking to me, write the book, write the book, write the book. So, right now, I remembered, you know, God said, I sent my word and healed your disease. So I thought to myself, if I were to write the book, I have to read the Bible. So I read, so I tell myself, hey, God's word can heal me, yeah, right? I must well write the book, lah, right? So because I have to read God's word, ma, so actually, I said, God, no, right now, all right, no, I will obey you. Because, no, right now, you uh, have asked me to do so, I will obey. So thank you Lord for giving me the chance to read Genesis to Revelations. Yeah. My whole life I never really read, you know. So what a privilege you know, to write a book for the Lord you know, and to be able to read you know, beginning to the end of the Bible. So I read, you know, you have to do your research you know, before you write the book, you know, right? Yeah? So after all these, you know, right now, so I wrote the book and after it was written, it was launched lah, uh, in my church uh, by my pastor. My pastor is Pastor Chu Wing Chi, by the way, of SIBKL. Oh, he's a great pastor, you know, right? He's my favorite pastor. I just simply love him. You know, yeah. no, I, I tell you, when I was sick that time, uh, he and his wife, uh, Pastor Liu Li Chu, uh, came to my house one, you know, and they saw all the things pasted on the wall, God's word, word therapy. And they pray for me, you know, and even Pastor Chu is so simple and humble man. Uh. He really want me to live, you know, he didn't want me to die, you know. He would kneel by the bedside, you know, and really you know, pleaded with God you know, to let me live, you know. But as you pray, uh, God downloaded in his spirit, you know, that the, the Lord Jesus will heal me and will use me for greater purpose, you know, to bless others that many may be healed. He got that, you know, revelation from uh, Jesus. That was the year 2007 when he prayed, you know. That time I was still down with cancer, very, very sick, lah, huh? Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's why I say he's such a wonderful um, pastor, really a man of God, a man after God's heart. You know? And anyway, going back you now to the book, you know, uh, Pastor Chu you know, helped me launch the book together with me. Uh, that was in June 2007. Yeah? So in June 2007, after it was uh, 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 published, you know, yeah. I went back to my closet, you know, back home. I said, God, I've written the book already. You no know, weeks and weeks have passed. You now I'm still suffering. I'm still in great pain. I know the tumor is still so big there. Why have you not healed me, Lord? No, right now. I thought I thought I strike a bargain with you. I obey you, you no, know, and you will heal me. The Lord was silent, completely silent. Did not answer me, you know, right? Instead, I tell you, you won't believe it, you know. uh, God spoke to me and said, Sherry. Now I want you to go and start a cancer support group. My goodness, no, right now, to start a cancer support group, I was still then a fourth stage cancer patient. And I say, God, no, I don't have the energy, no, I don't have the resources, no, I don't even have a place to start, no, right now. And I'm in great pain. I'm walking, you no, know, with a like a, with a tongka, with a stick like that, no. How can I go out, you know, and I can't drive, you know, right now? Huh? you but I tell you every morning. When I wake up and you know, seek the Lord, the Lord say, I want you to start. I want you to start. I want you to start. And then, you know, I, uh, you know, I keep saying, no, 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 no way. You know, I know, because I'm going to be awfully shy, you know. <laughs> you think anybody will turn up you know, when I'm a dying for stage cancer patient? You know, right now? What am I doing to start a cancer support group? You know? But wow, God was so insistent for me to start. Then, as I pray, you know, you know, prayer is the two-way communication. Mm. Then I start to ask God, oh God, why? Oh, God spoke to me. And God said, no, as you comfort others, you yourself will be comforted. As you refresh others, you yourself will be refreshed. As you pray for others, you yourself will get the healing. Wow, God! You mean as I pray for others, I can get the healing? I want to be healed or I don't want to die. Or 
So, so I quickly didn't start lah because I don't want to die. Right? I started the cancer support group, you know, right? You know? And then on that day, I pray, you know, I said, you know, pray hard lah. I said, God, let there be people. Let there be people. And true enough, God was good. God sent 12 people there. Uh, sorry, 10 plus 2, 12. 12 people you know, to the cancer support group. Uh. Not so bad lah. Uh, you know, uh, God didn't put me to shame. <laughs> Praise God. No? Yeah, no, so 12 people came and most of them were cancer patients. No? And that at cancer support group actually was called the El Piso Cancer Sup Support Group. L stands for God. Piso stands for I hope. It's a Greek word. So I hope in God, a Greek word. El Piso Cancer Support Group. Right. No? So the cancer support group was started and I begin you know, to um, uh, minister to the sick you know, and visit the sick people you know, at the cancer patients at home. And thank God I got a good friend you know, who drive me here and there to visit the sick people, you know, praise the Lord. You know, right, you know. And uh, after you know, uh, all the setup for the cancer support group, you know, two months later, I started by the way in July 2007, the cancer support group. Two months later, in September 2007, uh, I went for a CT scan and I tell you, no, right, uh, it is miracle number one, uh, miracle number one, right, because no, the cancer tumor I told you all just now was 6 by 7 by 4 cm, this large, suddenly, suddenly, after starting the cancer support group for just two months, suddenly it reduced by 70%. This tumor just zoom, not left only 30%. But I said, Lord, this 30% is still cancer, leh. It's still cancer, no? You have not healed me, no? Yeah, I still feel uncomfortable, still kind of a little bit in pain here and there, no? Right, no? But I again hear the Lord saying to me, no, right, um, by my stripes, ye were healed, right? So it's God, no? Yeah. In two months, no, it went down by 70%. So this 30%, I should not worry. I'm sure one day it will disappear. So I just continued serving the Lord in the Alpizo Cancer Support Group for the one year until August 2008. And in August 2008, now I went for another CT scan. Ah, I tell you, right, God is faithful. God is good. God is awesome. God is merciful. God is amazing. Right? A true miracle happened. All the cancer cells disappeared. The tumor, the left, the 30%, totally disappeared. Not a trace of cancer. And the doctor was so surprised. No? The doctor said, oh, yo, you must be one of the lucky few. I told the doctor, I don't think I'm one of the lucky few. I just want to share with you, right? my Lord Jesus healed me. Right? And this miracle is made possible through the Lord Jesus Christ. No? Because you know, Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. He healed in the seas of Galilee right? two over thousand years ago. He heals today. He's the same. There's miracle you know, today, modern day miracles. You know, as you can see in Evelyn's book, there are many miracles. You know? Yeah, right? So Jesus is real, right? Jesus is real. He's a living God. He's not a God that people you know, say, oh, he's a God and he's died already, you know, right now. And that's it. He's a human being. You see the bones, right? But this is different. Jesus was resurrected on the third day, right? You can never find his bones, no? And he has prepared a mansion for us in heaven, right? For those who accept Christ, so, ah, you have eternal life. I was so scared of dying, I tell you, the last time. I didn't know where my spirit would be going. But today, my heart is steadfast. My spirit is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Because I know my spirit no, right now will not die. I will have eternal life. For my spirit is only a change of address no, from the earth to heaven. That's it, you know, right? And it's so beautiful to be a Christian. It's so beautiful to be a child of God, no, right? And I tell you right now, I was so overjoyed that of course I continue to serve the Lord no, in the El Piso Cancer Support Group. No? And then not only that, uh, many of my church friends no, and churches no, heard of this miracle. No? They invited me to their church and I just went around no, to many churches. No, until today, I went to about 50 churches already right, no? uh, to uh, testify of God's goodness. No? Yeah? And, no, and, 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 and I'm, I'm very happy one no, to go to churches or anywhere. And I'm very happy being videoed now. Right, no? Yeah, you know why? Because each time right, you share your testimony, right, Satan is defeated. Because in you know, Revelation 12, uh, 11, it says that you know, Satan is defeated by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony, right? So the more you testify, the more you glorify God, you know, the stronger you become, right? You know, because you know, God honors His word.
yeah no and i tell you in churches uh, i always share this you know ah i'm so happy to share today because of genesis 50 20. genesis 50 20 says you know that you know right now um uh, you meant to harm me huh? but god meant you know, it for good to accomplish what is now being done the saving of many lives you see right now mm-hmm. so even when I was down in 206 207 uh, I saw this verse you know I saw Genesis 50 20 I hung on this you no know, tight to my chest you now right you now that God you no know, you are going to use me one day you no know, uh, for the saving of many lives you no know, and the healing of many people right you're going to use me oh Lord you know right now and you see you need to believe you need to have a hope you know right now then you will strike on although your body is like dying you know yeah although the doctor says like oh, that's all I can do right don't take the doctor's word as the last word. God's word is the last word, you know, right? No matter how you feel, you no. Know, don't give in to your feeling. Faith has nothing to do with feeling. Feelings have nothing to do with faith, you no. Know. Faith has everything to do with the word of God. You see that? You no, know, right now. So, you know, I just you know right went to many churches, you no, know, and not only that, you know, it's so good. My friends in the advertising circle heard of America. Right now, huh? and they say, "Hey, can I interview uh, for this magazine or for that newspaper?" But there, I say, "No, of course, you know, right now." Huh? And I appeared in many, many newspapers and many magazines in full color. Right? And can you imagine in full color? It would cost uh, how many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands, you know, right now? Huh? Yeah, but I got this all for free, free advertising for Jesus. You know, praise the Lord. No, I tell you, right now. Huh? Yeah, no, and I will just say that no, my God heals me, but my God is who? Is the Lord Jesus Christ? Huh? My God is a not any ordinary God. Huh? It's the Lord Jesus Christ who heals me and give me this modern day miracle, right now. Huh? Yeah, and so no right. You know, so I went around to many uh, churches and many newspapers, magazines. You know, they invited me. Uh, I mean, it was published everywhere. Are you? I tell you, then so many people you now come to know the, of the Elpiso Cancer Support Group. And today we meet in SIBKL, the church. I uh, I mean, the church I worship twice a month. Twice a month, each time we uh, 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 come together, it's not job people anymore, right? No, wow, there will be 60, 70, no, lots of uh, no, uh, uh, sick people, and we rename it. We rename from the Elpizo Cancer Support Group to Elpizo Healing Ministry, because you know, I say, God, if you can heal cancer people, you can heal people with all kinds of sicknesses, you know, right? Including Evelyn's father, you know, Evelyn's father you know, came to the Elpizo Cancer Support Group. That's how I came to know Evelyn Tan, you know, and. Uh, her father uh, was suffering from wow, big time, I tell you, the uh, uh, back, uh, back ache, you know, uh, back ache, you know, for uh, very pain, uh, and he saw all kinds of doctors, Chinese doctors, English doctors, uh, for easily 20 years suffering like that, you know, right? Huh? And you know, one day he came to El Piso, you know, and the prayer team, we have our prayer team there, pray for him, and one guy, you know, in the prayer team, his name is Brother Joshua, uh, Brother Joshua laid hands, you know, on uh, Uncle Tan, you know, and wow, instantly that day he was healed. My goodness, right now. And today, you know, right now, he's free of pain, you know, right now, right now, just uh, so happy, you know, uh, whenever he comes to Elpizo, even now today, you know, ayo, I see his radiant smile. I can feel, you know, the, even the presence of God in, in Uncle Tan, so strong nowadays, you know. He was so grateful until today. I can see that he's radiating with gratefulness from his heart, from his face, you know, for the Lord Jesus who healed him, you know. Just like me, I'm so grateful, you know. That's why, you know, I, I always tell myself I will serve the Lord until my last breath, you know, right, you know. Yeah, you know, and uh, many people, when they come to Elpizo, they are healed all kinds of cancer, right, you know. Fourth stage, third stage, whatever stage, you know. Uh, our God is a God of no stage, mm-hmm. right, you know. Whatever stage also he can heal, and not just breast cancer or whatnot, all kinds of cancer, you know. Can you imagine even pancreatic cancer? Pancreatic cancer usually should die one, I tell you. Pancreatic cancer, the Lord heal one lady. Stomach cancer heal one man, although he's cut off half of his stomach, right now. Another guy cut off half his lung, he's still surviving after so many years. Lung cancer, brain cancer, God also heal. Colon cancer also, you know, uh, 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 thyroid cancer, breast cancer, whatever cancer you, you name, you know, God heals. And not only cancer, uh, as I said, Evelyn's father, you know, the back ache, the back pain. And also there was one lady who couldn't hear, you know. Wow, you no, know, four or five years couldn't hear. That day she was prayed for instantly, right now, pop, you no, know, she could hear, right? You know? And there was one man also on wheelchair, he couldn't walk, you no. Know? Yeah, after all the prayers he went home and started you not know, to walk a bit. You know? Yeah. All kinds of healing takes place, you know, and uh, uh, quite a number of people who have depression, 
they also got uh, healed, you know. And by the way, a lady, I uh, tell you, you know, she got depression five years already. She's in uh, Penang, uh, Penang. She read my book, you know. Uh, she accepted Christ after reading my book, just like that, you know. Yeah? And, you know, uh, uh, the, the, uh, and, uh, she also, you know, uh, was, uh, uh, after accepting Christ, you know, a short while later, her depression disappeared. You know? She read my second book, lah, because after I was healed, I wrote my second book, There is Hope. You know? I wrote my second book. I yeah, I should have got my book here to try to show you, you know, right now. Um, maybe later, you know, after the video, I can show my book. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I produced the book, and this book has blessed so many people. Many people have emailed me, phoned me, you know, even in the Episode Cancer Support Group, tell me that you know, how the Lord sometimes healed them just through reading of the book, and you know, how their fear, uh, fear went away just by re reading the book, a lady in Malacca, you know, she was in great fear. You know, every time she feared you know, and she just read my book, put it under the pillow and sleep with the book. She slept with my book for six months. After she slept with my book for six months, uh, she went for a scan. The cancer disappeared. My goodness! I was so happy for her, you know. Rah. Another Hindu lady, uh, she's about 70, 80, I think. You know, she got fourth stage cancer. Uh, she uh, 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 read my book. She's a Hindu, by the way. She read my book. After she read my book, she wrote me a letter. And the letter says something like that. Dear Sherry, you know, yeah, uh, I'm so glad you know, to have read your book. You know, and you know, I've come to know Jesus. You know, and I have much peace. Yeah. And that's it. And then I think she passed away. Yeah. yeah, she passed away. The letter was never posted to me. But how I know about the letter? Her daughter one day was doing spring cleaning, found the book and saw the letter in the book and then email to me and tell me, wow, my mom wrote this letter to you that was never posted. Wow, praise God. Uh. I never saw her. I think one day I'll see her in heaven. Uh. Yeah, no, yeah. Wow, so many stories. Uh. I produced a DVD also. Uh, and in this DVD, you know, right, uh, many were touched, you know, many cried, and many accepted the Lord. You know. One of my cell members, she took this DVD, went to a lady's house, you know, she got forced stage cancer. She's almost also 70, 80, you know, yeah. And she saw the DVD with my friend, with her husband, with her daughter, and with her son-in-law, right? Halfway watching the DVD, the Spirit of God just came down and filled the whole house and their hearts, you know, and they were crying and crying and crying, you know. And just halfway, you know, right, my friend you know, just asked, you know, right, you know, would you like to accept the Lord Jesus Christ? All four of them, four of them instantly accept the Lord Jesus Christ. My goodness, uh, it's amazing, right? Uh? Now, soon after this old lady passed away, but thank God now she's in heaven. She's you know, enjoying her life in Jesus, eternal life. You know? Wow, you see, you know, right? I say, God, you know, right now, I was just you know, so broken. I was dying in 206, you know, right now. You just use me, you know, right now. And I'm not a fantastic writer, but people say my book's so fantastic, you know, right now. Yeah, no, you, uh, you, you just uh, enable me to write, you know, right now. You just use me, you know, and every time I write, I pray, and you seem to pen the words for me, you know. Thank you, Lord, you know, right now. And it just touched the hearts of many, you know. Today is touching so many people, you know, even around the world, you know. And people got healed you know, and got saved, you know. Lord, you no, know, I thank you, right. I thank you, lucky God, I was obedient to you. If I, this girl, was not obedient to you, right now, I probably wouldn't have today. Thousands and thousands of people would not have read my book, would not have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. I tell you, no, God, you're so good. No? Thank you, Lord, no, right now. So I want to share with you uh, one thing about this Elpiso Healing Ministry. Many came right now and many were healed by the Lord Jesus Christ. The good thing is, no, after they were healed, a number of them went back to their own churches. By the way, the healing ministry is not just for SIBKL, uh, for all churches, anybody can come. They went back to their own church, you know, and they started their own cancer support group. In total now, uh, in KL and BJ, uh, six you know, cancer support groups have started in other churches as a result of the Elpizo healing ministry. As a result, you know, they came to Elpizo, got healed by the Lord, and went back you know, to start their own cancer support group. Isn't God amazing? Isn't God amazing? No, as you look at me now, right? You're you looking at the picture of hell. You see, right? No, I am very blessed. No, I'm very joyful serving the Lord. No, right, uh, and the Lord, no, right? No, since 2006 to now, right? Uh, 2017. How many years already? 11 years. So the Lord has used me 11 years already. Even my latest scan every year, I do my scan. I'm completely free of cancer. I praise the Lord. And I never scan going for scan. Every time I go for scan, I sing hymns inside. You no, know, because I say all oh, will be fine, right? And indeed, always come out to be fine. You no, know, right? You no. Know? And not only 11 years lah. I want to tell you, 
my first bout of cancer, as I shared just now in the tape, was when I was 38 years old. So now, already 23 years past. 23 years, you know, have passed. No? So don't take the doctor's word as the last word. You know? Take God's word as the last word. When you take God's word as the last word, you surrender your life to Jesus, no, right? And do the will of God now, right now. You see today, um, it's a modern day miracle. So that's my miracle I'm sharing with you. And thank you for Evelyn. Evelyn is so wonderful to give me this opportunity to share you know, my miracle, right? Indeed, the Lord Jesus is the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. And now I just want to share with you the book which I've written after I got my complete healing, The Miracle from the Lord Jesus Christ. So here you go. This is the English version. And the title of the book is There is Hope. And the subtitle says, The Amazing Story of One Woman's Victory Over Cancer Through the Power of Faith. You read about this modern day miracle in this English book. I also have got a Chinese version. Here you go. This is the Chinese version of There is Hope. And on top of the English and the Chinese books, I've also produced a DVD, not a CD, all right? A DVD, you can see the pictures, it's like a movie, right? There you are, no? Hope Through Faith is the title of the DVD. And this is an amazing story of one woman's no, victory over cancer through the Lord Jesus Christ. And where can you get the DVD and the book? You can get them at two bookstores in Malaysia. One is Canon Land, and the other one is Salvation Bookstore. You can just Google you know, and get their address if you wish them to mail to you or you can just go to their bookstores, you know, Salvation Bookstore and Canon Land to buy the books and the DVD. Or if you wish, you can email me direct. I can always direct you where to buy or you know, uh, find out more information about the Elpizo Healing Ministry at my church, SIBKL. By all means, uh, email me. And my email address is sherrylim01 at yahoo.com. It's spelled as S H. E R Y L I M 01 at yahoo.com. There you go. Just get in touch you know, with the book, with myself, and you'll be in touch with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I baptized Dara Moy on 9th August, last Tuesday. He's the younger son of Joanne Sim and the lad Elvin Moy. Darren will leave for further studies in KL on 14 August. We pray that he will do well in his studies and in his faith. In March this year, our late brother Joshua Nada saw two visions during the noon prayer. The first vision, I see a warehouse. It has a lot of huge vessels or containers. Two angels are cleansing the inside of a huge vessel which looks like a wine bottle. They are flushing the inside of the vessel. The Lord wants to cleanse the church through the sanctification by the Holy Spirit and pruning by the Word of God. The second vision, I see a mental hospital. A nurse is pushing a bed to bring in a mentally ill patient. Then she brings in more mental patients. We will start the Freedom in Christ course in the first week of September. This course is compulsory for all who want to join BM Bright Star as a member or as a worshipper. There are seven topics. There are counterfeit versus real, deception versus truth, bitterness versus forgiveness, rebellion versus submission, pride versus humility, bondage versus freedom, and curses versus blessings. We will teach one topic by Zoom once a week. Each session will be one hour long. It will be every Sunday from 8 to 9 p.m. The session will be recorded, and if you have, you have to miss it, you have to watch the recorded session and inform us that you have watched it. We will give you the materials too. We will call you to join the course. If you can't join this time, we will ask you to join the next round, which will be in the beginning of next year.
Now I will lead us to say the closing prayer. Let's pray. Lord, I pray for all who are following this service. May your favor be with them. May you give them strength to live for you. For those who are working, help them to be diligent, honest, skillful, and productive in their work. Help them to maintain good relationships with their boss and colleagues. For those who are doing business, deliver them from evil and temptation. Help them to have faith and to rely on you to bring in good clients or customers. We believe that their business will expand. Help them to be kind and generous to those who are in need. For those who are studying, help them to be diligent. Lord, you gave wisdom to Daniel and to Joseph. We ask that you will give them similar wisdom in their studies. We also ask you to bless our families. May there be peace, love and harmony in our homes. We pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.